We have now 100%ed Evergreen Forest and Golden Coast. I do not know if we will get to 100%ing Autumnal Valley today. I could at least do one more cave here, and we'll see where we're at after that. Because we have one cave here, then I think three more in the final area. So maybe I can do both of these in one go. Uh, because actually one of them is just right over here, if I remember correctly. We could just instantly hop in here and just start the day with a cave. Aquatic Basin. There's only ten treasures in here. And it's blue Pikmin only. Or like water hazards only. Well, God knows I have enough blue Pikmin for a lifetime. So I'll just grab... Uh, 80 blue Pikmin. And then, just in case... I'll just grab 10 whites and 10 purples. And we'll just get in this cave, and then we have the other cave on the other side of the, of the map that we need to go to. I should be able to do all of this in one in-game day, if it's all right next to each other, so... We'll see what, what happens after we're done with this for the stream. I hope I'm not making a mistake. Uh, maybe I should bring other Pikmin types, but it just says blue, so... Ooh. Nice water music. It's the underwater music from Super Mario Sunshine. It's funny because I think th us this song. I sim no. It was the um. It was the uh the sky music was used in Pikmin 2 New Year. But I don't think I've heard a Pikmin 2 remix of this song before. All right, please don't. Please don't. We're, we're just losing Pikmin when I don't need to. Bro, attack. All right, let's just lose six Pikmin because I'm, like, really, really cool. Hello, Reflet. Welcome to the stream. Christmas bubble. Now, if there's Boldman in this cave, we'll be able to grab him. Whoa, I'm not tapped in. There we go. Mermaid gem. <laughs> and then the Super Mario World underwater music as well. You know what, I've never seen the Snagrit boss fight arena reused for anything other than Snagrits. I think making this a uh, an underwater area is kind of funny. Something. Uh, I actually don't remember what that what ball that is. Lure ball. Uh, that might be the only thing on this floor. Luring capsule. Lure ball. Yes, I was correct. Uh, cool. The game has experienced a crash after picking up the lure ball. Uh, I mean, it's it's only frickin' jelly floats. I can refight those. Uh, don't crash again for some reason. Okay. I'm, con I'm confused as to why that even crashed in the first place. Oh, 
Uh, I forget if I've used one of these before, so I just need to use it again. <laughs> You know, the different lighting in these caves that have just, like, the lighting of the environment, like how it's really blue in here and stuff, reminds me how I used to make Splatoon videos. When I, f like, when I first started making... Please. When I first started making videos on the channel for the Splatfest montages in Splatoon 2, I used to adjust the lighting in a in a bunch of the clips to be like the ink colors in the in the match. I stopped doing that because I thought it looked weird after a while. Stellar token, it's a new Super Mario Bros. star coin. <laughs> At least the color blue is very pleasant. Like red has always been my favorite color just because like, I, I don't know why I just like the color red. And then black was always my second favorite color. But ever since my, my friend had drawn the original image that I use as my profile picture for a while, and I had someone else make that image as, that is used as my current profile picture, I've just had an affinity for, the, for light blue. Like, my mom's favorite color is blue, so I've always, like, liked blue. But blue was never was like not one of my favorite colors until like the last like five years. I think red was always my favorite color because I like like cherry flavored things. That's fine. You can pick up one of those. Chalice of Renewal. Because I would say that cherry is my favorite flavor of something. Oh, finally, tile room. Ooh. I don't think I recognize the song off the top of my head. I don't think there's anything over here. It's very energetic for being a shower room floor, though. Please don't do that. You know what? Okay, my load state's there. I'm just gonna close the game and restart that because I'm not- I don't need to lose more purples. That's just me playing stupid. Alright, we'll try that again. Now I'm in a weirder spot to be in. I'd say. There is nothing bad back here, so I can still place my Pikmin back here. Part of me thinks this song sounds familiar, and I still can't place it. Come here. And not do that. Anything can happen in a roll hack. There we go. So 
I have an idea. The idea is not coming to fruition, but this is good enough. <laughs> Why must you exist, Wallywog? This guy got closer, which is what I wanted. There's so much HP! The juicer. Jubilant Juicer! I know, uh, that can't be everything. I feel like I know where the second one is. Whatever. No! Let me up! Let those guys die. Not like I want them to. It's not my fault that the game stun locks you in place. Somehow they killed him without dying. Just take him. Just do it. I have so many blue Pikmin. I should have a sentimental attachment and name for every single Pikmin. I stopped naming every single Pikmin I had in Pikmin Bloom after like the 250th Pikmin. I also haven't really played Pikmin Bloom in ages now. Because I just stopped caring. Like, Pik Pikmin 4 has been out for quite a while now, and to my knowledge, they still haven't haven't added uh, Ice Pikmin or Glow Pikmin to the game. It's just still all the other decor stuff. So I'm thinking, like, why even bother? Because I want all the new Pikmin 4 stuff, but they don't have them. They had an event where you could get, like, Pikmin that have, like, the Pikmin 4 spaceships, like the SS Shepard and uh, Beagle netting capsule. <laughs> but they don't have the actual pick new Pikmin 4 Pikmin types in the game. Like, this isn't Pokemon Go where you can afford to, like, wait. <laughs> What's super funny is that they've had, like, Galarian forms and stuff in the game for a while. Like, a couple Galarian forms and they have, like, Wooloo and Squavit and, like, Zacian and Zamazenta that they released for, like, event stuff at one point. And that's, like, all they ever did. Like, Scarlet and Violet's been out for a year, and there's more Scarlet and Violet Paldean Pokémon than there are Gen 8 Galarian Pokémon in the game. <laughs> like, we don't even have the Gen 8 starters in Pokémon Go yet. Meanwhile, we have all of the other starters, except Gen 8. Do I need, even need to come over here, or are you just here for no reason? You're just here for no reason. We don't have to worry about that. Mmm, that's a room and a half over there. Uh, that guy might have a thing. Really? <laughs> I 
I just let them take it. Oh, it's the blue goo. You're really shaking them off. Actually, we might have all the treasures on the floor right here. I don't even have to, I might not even have to go into that big room. Oh, give me that. Delicious. Are you paint blue? Gooey graffiti. I always thought the old the way they do Mario's font is so weird, especially back in the day, because like Mario is so iconic for the red M, but they used to they still do it to this day of make all of these random color like a bunch of random colors for the Mario logo. But like the M in Mario always used to be blue. Like uh Super Mario World logo. Like, it started with Super Mario World. The M in Mario in Super Mario World is green. They used to just, like, randomly add these colors for, like, no reason. Because, like, they fixed it nowadays. I still have the box of the Bowser in the background. And, like, the logo for the Super Mario Brothers movie has the same color scheme of random colors, but the M is actually red. I don't know why they did that back in the day. this up again. Alluring clamshell. Yeah, we still got one more, which I believe is the Bloister. Unless there's four treasures here. Moo. Okay, we still got one somehow? like the most damage I've ever done in one go against these things in this game. So Grab that for me, please. It would be nice if it's just these and I don't have to go in that big room. Bubble bomb. Yep. And the cave, the exit though is over there. So we gotta make a break for it. Uh... Okay, you're gonna eat a purple Pikmin? That's cool. All right, let's just grab like a couple. That's, like, way easier. Alright, these... These eight Pikmin will bust it down. <laughs> These gates have less health in caves. Yeah. Raging Bloister! In a very weird sized room. This cave is very short. Alright, go look at him. Oysters were used more in Pikmin 4. Because they really weren't. Ooh. 
Like, they wait till, like, the second to last area in the game to introduce a brand new moisture type, and it's used, like, three times. Actually, maybe only twice. Oh, there's the key! I was wondering when the hell we get this, because I didn't even know if this game had a custom challenge mode. If this game has a custom challenge mode, I will be playing it and uh, have extra videos for this. Uh, nice teamwork. That bloister was quite the challenge, especially without purple Pikmin. Inside of it is inside of it is this cryptic object. Still not sure what this thing means. Let's collect it anyways. Perhaps it's worth a small fortune. Beep. This key. This, uh, this object appears to unlock something to our benefit, but I'm struggling to identify where. Aha! I am recognizing a foreign signal identifying a dimensional influence far away. It is sending us a message, but it is confusing. But I will still read it to you. Challenge mode 2 can now be accessed from the title screen. Yeah, I don't understand it. Uh, but we can hope that it has some application. I will name this apparently worthless object, this key. <laughs> yeah, I've done the custom challenge mode in all of the other Pikmin 2 ROM hacks that I play that have custom challenge modes. So I will be playing the one for this game, for like a, an extra stream of this. Oh, it's a lot more Pikmin than I would have liked to. But Wallywogs be Wallywoggin. There we go. Uh, cool. Let's get a bunch of blues here. So we can explore the rest of this water. Because the day is still young. Because we took down this gate before. Probably these guys respawned. Okay. Oh wait, that cannon beetle's gonna be here again. I almost forgot about you. Yeah, you, you're gonna be a problem if I keep you alive. Surprise from above! Please stop that! We have this cave here. <laughs> I detect a bone chilling cold coming out from the cave below you. I bet my teeth would be chattering if I had them. I also detect some strong beasts located below. To get through this cave, you two will need excellent teamwork and dedication to pers uh, to purpose. I think that means to pursue, is what that's supposed to be. I detect a royal presence at the bottom of this cave. Please enter well prepared. Well, finally, we're gonna get Empress as our final regular game cave before the final area. <laughs> it's Empress Baldwax. Uh, red, blue, and white. Frozen. Frozen. Subterrence. It's like, I don't even know how I want to do this. Oh, you're just kind of here, ain't ya? So I think there is a buried treasure up there. So I'm gonna need to get everyone to go around again. 
Okay, let's not do that. Please. I'm gonna have to take you out because there's no way they're gonna get the treasure over here. So I have to take this one out too. Really no good way for me to have that not happen, you know? Yeah, okay. He's over here now. Th goodbye, the white Pikmin that was there. <laughs> Please leave me alone. It'd be really cool if you stopped existing. So this is good enough. I don't even know if I'll be able to get into this cave after this. I know there's this weight puzzle here that I won't take advantage of because I'm a gamer and we can just do this. That's not going to do that much. <laughs> okay. Now I think I can start throwing regular Pikmin up there. Actually, I can just do this from the start. I didn't even need to do it that way. Come on. Bro. Alright, well now you're stuck down there. Uh, that's an interesting direction for you to be going in that I really don't want you going in right now. You killed the other guy. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, please, please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Bro, how many are there? And, got, and there's these guys too! Go away! <laughs> Leave me be. So even after all that, I don't even think I'm getting into... I don't even think I'm getting into this cave in this in-game day because I have to bring this all the way back because of how long it takes to get this over here. Flaming Essence. So that one's still in the game. Okay, I guess it's still going to the blues. Everything goes to the blue Pikmin. And I'm missing 12 Pikmin somewhere. Sure I am. I think it's these guys who got stuck. But I don't think I can save anybody else. There's a blue stuck there. Uh... I'm gonna hope that's everybody. Because if it isn't, I don't know where the other guy is. No, I think we saved everyone. I guess I'll be doing reading here anyway. 
Honey, I'm so glad you paid off the company's debt. I would love it more if you came back to spend some time with me, but I, uh, but I get how the president can be demanding sometimes. <laughs> it's been two weeks, honey. It's okay. Just a little bit longer. Uh, emerald Blint Beetle. Hell, these critters are awesome. Their whole body is covered with literally emerald crystals. It's simply beautiful. And if I was able to take some crystals for myself, this depth would be a truly child's play. These bugs are even more nimble than before, so I have to be fast with my pigments so I can collect the nectar and spray chocolate. And nectar and spray chocolates. From gold to emerald color, their high variety demands Xerox. These guys sometimes feel like they're going metal detecting, and they're the jackpot. I think we do have every entry now, except for bosses, right? I'm missing number nine. I have no idea what that can even be. Feels like some sort of bulb but I don't know what bulb orb I'd be missing. Uh, this slimy creature is a larger version of the Tony Cloyster. Uh, this one is much more hostile and loves to charge straight at us captains. What's funny is that it uh, tried to mask who it's targeting by emitting a gray light. But the color of its eyes and tail does not change even when it, uh, it targets a leader. However, even when we know what's, what it's doing, its large mouth easily scoop, uh, scoops up more than half a dozen pigments at once. Despite that danger, we can abuse the behavior of tolerating the tracking. And during that time, between targets, it can't eat pigments. In the small window of time, it can sneak around the back and attack the weak tail. This red jewel was dug up from a tall tree stump in the autumnal valley. Just like the, envir uh, just like the environment, this gem is of utmost beauty. My daughter would love uh, would light up with joy if I gave it to her. Wait, why does it have to be hypothetical? This should be good. Uh, this would be good Christmas. The scale puzzle was added over a full year after the area's creation. I have to have some of the world puzzles. Well, uh, either fix the level geometry so that you don't have to throw, you can't throw pick it up there, or just remove the scale puzzle because you don't need the scale puzzle. <laughs> in my personal opinion. This dull coin has a peculiar design on the front of it. The thing's plastic, though, so uh, I doubt we'll be able to sell it uh, for too much. Uh, this coin, this coin is one of the few things on this planet that I can carry. Uh, as not much is uh, not not as not much is this small or light. Hopefully, I will never have to carry things. Uh, put spectacular objects inside, even more spectacular creatures. Create many stories everywhere, everywhere you can. This uh, odd gold device appears to be a large key. The only use we've encountered so far is being an intellectual phone. People are receiving messages from alternate dimensions. We found us inside a massive blue voicer, surprisingly still shiny. Please play challenge mode. It took me around 100 hours to make it and has uh, new music and caves found nowhere else. Though my best work is in challenge mode, and I worry that not many people will find it. I will be playing challenge mode after the main game is done. That's how I do these things. So stay tuned for when I play challenge mode. If we find any smaller version of this object, I bet my daughter would love to wear from her ears. It doesn't have quite shiny other gemstones have, but sometimes simplicity is key. But it'll never really had anywhere. I really had anywhere that had the vibe of this treasure, but I was able to create a kind of underwater city with frogs. Those guys are very important, trust me. I mean, this was in the Christmas themed cave. It was in the, the winter cave with the Emperor's Gold Blast and Pippin, too. Because it's a, it's a Christmas ornament. It was in the Christmas cave. I got a whole bunch of these. This childish can hold an astounding amount of liquid. I've been using it sporadically for a quick little energy boost. But I'm not proud of exploring. Being a captain sure is uh, tough work. I don't, know what, uh, I don't know what I would be without that boost. It fills me up for days on end. It's a cup, simple and effective. Deep underground in a sewage complex, we found some treasures. Among them was this can of blue paint. Is that really a can? I think it's more of a tube than a can, which I feel a strange connection to. The contents are highly colorful and it doesn't like to go away, even when washed with soap. April Fools, here I come! There's no special occasion painted blue uh, to place this thing, but there's nothing wrong with putting it in the sewer. There were more planned sewer floors, but when I rework area 4, I left several floors with unique music. I think it makes some floors more special. When placed in water, this bar was some of the holes. How fun, I killed a blast. But I tried, uh, also thank you, Iron Shoal Gaming. I probably need the thing there and appreciate you. I tried to taste the bubbles, uh, but they were less than pleasant. Since blisters bubble and dissolve when they die, it fits uh, for one of them to drop the soap. I considered making the soap the same light blue color, but I don't think it's important. This metal object shape is ideal for the extraction of very large fruits, like the ones we found on this planet. It's surprisingly enjoyable. So you should get your friends and family together to juice your fruits. Since I don't have to, you get uh, you get to BS some more about how the other can consume modern objects, like this one. This large plastic object appears similar to the clam shell, but it definitely uh, it definitely is inanimate. The material at the bottom is commonly used for towels back on Ovatate, which might be the only selling point this plastic thing has. I almost forgot to read the other one. Uh, over 160 notes are in the past, so it's uh, natural that I forgot uh, that I forgot what I wrote for all of them. But I only have already talked about the sewer cave. I will now. Uh, it came from the scrap uh, winter mod I had. It's, uh, it's wintery due to how the texture is the snow brick wall inverted, but eight times as tall. Talk about technicalities. The pattern on the outer shell appears to be designed with the uh, trapping of winged creatures in mind. I'd love to be able to use one of these things. What? I'd love to be able to use one of these things. Stitch bugs will make me want to quit this bang job sometimes, and locking, locking them up would make me feel a lot better. They deserve it. Hey, it kind of blends in with the great. This is another one of the lazy Pokeballs for filler. This capsule is a thin layer of plastic surrounding the shell, which makes it able to float in water. I believe, yeah, float. It's uh, currently submerged. I believe this may have been used to capture creatures that dwell in the water, such as water dumples or wog poles. Looking back, the lure ball was definitely a little forced, but I really don't like the milk tub. Too late. Uh, is that all of them for now? That is all of them for now.